ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Granite State Arts Academy uh, first semester theater showcase. Uh, tonight we've got a wonderful lineup for you. We have all originals, uh, student created, directed, and performed work uh, from our intro to theater and improv classes. Students have been uh, working very hard on these over the last uh, about, about, about a month. And as I said, these are uh, some wonderful 10-minute original plays uh, that we've prepared for you. Uh, if you have seen the digital playbill, you'll see the lineup. We're going to alternate between improv games uh, and all of these scenes. Uh, uh, in fact, we're going to start right now with our first one. We've got our first improv game. It is called Director's Cut. So I need my uh, four actors up here for Director's Cut. Yeah, one, two, three, four. There we are. All right. So. Uh, improv has been working on improv, imagine that, all these skills, all semester long, and right now they're going to start showcasing uh, all of these wonderful skills. So, I need everybody to reach into the cup. Three of you are going to pull out to be the actors, and one of you will pull out being the director. Thank you. Thank you. All right, who pulled my director? All right, so a director, you can go down there. Uh, why don't we start, uh, Rich, you can start off today. All right, so the way this game works is in a moment, these fine performers are going to improvise a scene from a made-up movie. Uh, I'll start with the, these two on stage, third actor joins. Uh, then after about 45 seconds, our wonderful director over here is going to call cut. They will come into the scene, critique the actors, and then give them a piece of ridiculous direction that they must now then go back, redo their scene, playing that piece of direction to its fullest. Ha uh, everyone feeling comfortable about their parts? <laughs> yeah, all right. So, uh, from the audience, I need a genre of film. Right. Yeah. Romance. I heard romance. Uh, all right, I need somebody, give me a made up title of a romance movie. Cheesy Love. love. I heard cheesy love. <laughs> More cheese. More cheese, all right. So. <laughs> Uh, without further ado, I give you the romance, Cheesy Love. I, uh, I brought you this grilled cheese because, you know, you melt my heart. Oh, thanks, babe. I love it. Can I eat it? Well, I'm still allergic to dairy, so. Oh, but not that counts. I'm, I'm sorry. No, it's, no, it's okay. Why, why don't you eat it, you know? You can have the grilled cheese. Okay. It's fine. We can eat something that's not dairy. Well, yeah, I mean, we've been together for a year. I'm still lactose intolerant, but it's all right. I just feel like I shouldn't go in the corner and eat this and cry about how you rejected it when well, I put so much thought into no it. No one's making you. It's a small kitchen. There's only so many corners in here. Stephanie, did they reject the grilled cheese? He didn't like the grilled cheese. He didn't like the grilled Hey. All right, right don't make me argue you. that. Listen, we've been together for a year. I'm literally lactose intolerant. How it's do you not know this one? Oh, look, look. It's the thought that counts? Yes, it's cut, the cut, cut, cut. Where's the emotion? Where's the emotion? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, my you, character's I not supposed you. to have any emotion, really. Emotion? No, I want you all to act like you're absolutely terrified of each other. How does that have to do with our... Just what, yeah. don't question uh, me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
woods. Why are we out here anyway? The fairies. The fairies. The fairies. What makes you think fairies are out here? Why, my super high tech fairy finding equipment, of course. Look! In old watches leading us to fairies. Hey! It's not some old watch. It's called the Super Mega Awesome Fairy Tracker. I traded Lucy three Starbursts in my swing time at recess for this. Uh huh. We're close. I can feel it. Hurry up, Jonas! How many times do I have to tell you? My name is June. Whatever you say, Julian. Hey, look! Do you think the fairies left us? It's just some rock. We're in the middle of the woods. Which, by the way, we shouldn't even be in. It'd be easy to get lost in here. I'll be able to find my way back. Don't you worry. I know these woods like the back of my hand. Listen, Nancy. <laughs> Nancy? Who's that? That's, that's you. Nope. I'm pretty sure it is. I think I would know my own name, thank you very much. I happen to be very good with names, Joey. Uh-huh. Let's... I'm only going to listen to you if you call me by my actual name. What are you... Oh, no. I am not calling you that. Just lots of people looking for fairies. Wait. I can't believe I'm doing this. Sparkle Frosty Frost? Yes? <laughs> Will you please stop looking for some imaginary creatures and head back with me so I don't get fired? Imaginary? Imaginary? Fairies are 100% real. I doubt that. It's true. Have you ever seen one? No, that's my point. You I have to see it to believe it. Fairies are so real. It's been proven that kids see them more frequently than old people, so that's probably why I've never seen one. I'm 16. That's like 10,000 years old in fair years. You're like a grandma. What? Oh, and there's so many pictures of real life fairies on the internet. And they're not like the ones I watch on TV. They're real. And, and you can't tell me it's Photoshop. They were taken in like the 17th century. Photoshop wasn't a thing back then, silly. And, and mushroom circles. There's no possible way anything besides fairies could make those. And, and the seasons? Fairies have to be the reason why they change. I think my science teacher needs to go back to fairy school because she says the tilt of the earth causes them. That's so weird. If the earth was tilted, we wouldn't even be standing up straight. <laughs> and besides, who collects my tooth when it's under my pillow? It's definitely not Santa. He only comes on Christmas. Santa? Look, the super mega awesome fairy charmer says to go this way. Please. <laughs> this way! Come on, Nancy, your prince will be back soon. La la la, I can't hear you. Sparkles, Frosty Frost, we need to go now. Not until we find the fairies! We need fire! That's not my problem. Please, I'll do anything. I really need the money for a new phone. Anything? I'm going to regret saying this. game. 
Uh, it's our first one involving our, our, our wonderful students on Zoom, as you can all see on the live stream and on our backboard here, a uh, little bit of like inception or something like that going. So uh, this is just like the uh, classic TV show where uh, we will bring out in a moment uh, Rachel, who has stepped out of the room. She is going to be interviewing uh, these three contestants, but uh, each one of these contestants is going to have a unique personality trait uh, or characteristic that Rachel is not going to be aware of, and it's her job when she's asking these questions to just try to figure out uh, just exactly uh, who these people are. So from the audience, I need some suggestions. So, um, <clears throat> a place no one wants to be. Bridge. Jail. I've heard bathroom and jail. Let's go, uh, let's see if we can, uh, uh, Allie, you have recently escaped from prison, and you're trying not to get caught. Great. All right. So there's that. That's cool. All right. Thank you. We can't, we can't see right. Nick. The curtains. Oh, it's okay. They can see Nick on there. Yep. Okay. Yeah, they're fine. Um, all right. Um, I need a historical figure. Abraham. I heard Abraham Lincoln. Billy, you're Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> all right. Okay. Uh, somebody, give me your favorite movie. The B movie. movie. I heard How to Train Your Dragon. Um, so, uh, Nick, um, backstage, you have your pet dragon that you're worried is going to escape. All right, we all, we all feel good. So we've got uh, prisoner escaping, Lincoln, dragon trainer. All right, we're gonna bring Rachel back into the room. so I can read you. Am I sitting on the button? Yeah, that's your spot now. All right, so whenever you're ready, you can ask your contestants all about themselves. Contestant number one. Hi. So, I was thinking that for our first date, we should go somewhere like not too hot, but like not too cold, and I don't want it to be like sandy, but I also don't want it to be wet. So where do you think we should go? I think we should go somewhere where there aren't any people. Um, so like if it was just us two and nobody else and definitely nobody. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I'm fine with anywhere. I, I just don't like the theater that much. <laughs> okay. Contestant number three, same question. Well. <laughs> Dance and I really wanted to go to it, but you couldn't dance 
and you were afraid that you were going to step on my feet, what shoes would you have me wear? <laughs> what shoes would I? Okay, um, what shoes would I? I don't know, man. I haven't. I've been a little out of the scene, you could say, of, of a bit away from you know society for a while. But you know, shoes like uh, some boots, some nice hard boots. <laughs>
No, it was assigned to me right out of school. The man who had this job before you was similar to you in his enthusiasm for the work. And uh, when he stepped out, I to question a few things. Do you know what happened to him? No. What happened to him? Who? The guy who had this job before me. There was no one. But you said... I know what I said. Officially, you originated the position of second desk in this office. If you look up in record keeping, you'll see that this was a one-man operation until you came in. But as I'm sure you've noticed, there is no possible way one man could handle this amount of work. So, ask yourself, why would there not be a single record of my predecessor? What could they have done? But you know how dangerous these sorts of questions are, don't you? Uh, I, uh... Look, the best way to perform this job is to do your job. Nothing more, nothing less. I suppose. Uh, I'm not sure you do. There's only two hours left in our work day. Sit down, stop talking. I am, I am. Wonderful. Just like I said, diminished didn't make sense and they wanted it. I can read the emails, thank you. Why do you hate this job so much? I do not hate this job. D is it me? Do you hate me? I do not hate you. I am indifferent towards you. Then where does this hostility come from? You're okay. always so grumpy. After three years, six months, two weeks, and three days, you finally decide I'm grumpy. Oh no. I made that discovery after the third day. I'm just curious as to where it came from. We're doing very important work. All for the council. It should be very rewarding and fulfilling. I would rather not talk about it, not here, anyway. Wait. Do you not agree with the council? I never said that. Yes, but you implied it. I implied nothing. You you inferred what you wished for me to imply, but I in fact did not imply that. Therefore, your inference was incorrect. It's okay. You can tell me. I won't say it then. Not funny. I'm being serious, or do you think that this place bugged or something? I know exactly how it works. Oh, yeah? Yes. Then tell me, oh wise one. You know I can't do that. Do what? We can't talk about... Talk about what? Because they... You know what they do. I do not. Please elaborate. Stop it. Stop what? We can't... Can't what? Talk about these things. What things? They will erase me. Erase you? Erase me. Now why would they do that? Because that's what they do. I've never known an erased person. Stop talking about... They want to see me upstairs. Oh. I'm sure it must be good things. You set me up. Set you up? You know what you did. I haven't a clue what you're talking about. Better get moving. We're not very patient upstairs. some more wonderful props from our uh, not sponsored cups uh, and uh, each the one of our improvisers is going to be given a secret word and as the scene progresses anytime somebody says their secret word if they are on stage they must come up with a reason to leave if they are off stage they must come up with a uh, reason to come into the scene Sounds confusing, but it's not as uh, crazy as it sounds. So, we're gonna start all the way over here. Uh, I'm gonna need to, a place you wouldn't 
humans usually find alligators, but they might be there anyway. A bathroom. Bathroom! Okay, you're going to the bathroom. Thank you. All right, next up. Uh, what time do you go to bed? Nine. nine. Your word is nine. All right, nine. Thank you. Uh, a name of a ball you play sports with. Soccer. I heard football, so let's go with foot. All right, so we've got uh, bathroom, nine, foot. Next up, uh, something found in a purse. Change. I heard lipstick. Lipstick. So, uh, bathroom, nine, foot, lipstick. Nine foot lipstick. Alright, uh, I think the name of a company. Dunkin' Donuts! Dunkin'! Okay, Dunkin'. Really? Uh, let's go with Donuts. Can we go Donuts? Donuts. Donuts. Okay. Uh, why don't we start with um, rock, paper, scissors, you. Okay, the other three go off stage, you two start on stage. And uh, the context of this scene. No, what was Alicia? Oh, yeah, yeah, great. Yeah, you're off that way. I'm off? Okay. Um, what do you have for breakfast? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing isn't really a okay. Alright, uh, I heard cinnamon. Well, cinnamon. Cinnamon <laughs> has something to do with cinnamon. Okay, so let's review. We've got bathroom, nine, foot, lipstick, donut. Donut. Cinnamon. Whenever you're ready.
into the uh, not sponsored generic coffee cup. <laughs> All right, so the way this game works is two people in this scene are going to be on a date. So can I get dater one and dater two? Great. Uh, twin one off that way, twin two that way. Okay, so. So uh, the way this game works is uh, we've got these two um, lovely humans that are on a date. And uh, throughout the date, at any given time, they have their evil twins that are off stage, and they can yell freeze. Uh, when they say freeze, they're going to come take the place of their good twin. And they're going to say or introduce something to the date that make it uh, go not so good. And then if the good, the good twin will come back and has to try to save the date so the other person doesn't run screaming for the hills. Uh, good, yeah, yeah. Uh, great. So, I need a place for a crappy date. McDonald's. McDonald's, oh, all right. <laughs> you got, it's the porcelain room at the Golden Arches. No, it's, it's, it's the fly room. Yeah. It's the all right, whenever we're ready. Hi, hi, um, you're, you're Jake, right? Yeah, no, that's me, I'm Jake. You're Jake? Okay, hi, I'm, I'm Mia. How are you doing? I'm doing good, so, uh, what do you, what do you do for a living? Um, <laughs> well, you know, that's, uh, that's classified with the stuff that may or may not have happened with the CIA. You know? Oh, okay. We, yeah. All right. Ooh. Yeah, no, I just, I just work for an insurance company. Oh, that's cool. That's that's cool. I'm wait, I'm gonna have to write that down actually. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, no, I've never taken notes on a date before, but that's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, it's normal. It's normal. No, Cut. definitely. Cut. Yeah, that seems pretty normal. Do you want to like run away and get matching tattoos together? We should like get married right now. I know this great place. It's right down the road. Oh. We can we can get married. Right now, I, I don't have commitment issues. You do. You, you should be <laughs> <laughs> Marry me! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a really bold thing to say on the yeah, first Yeah, did I mention I'm a blogger? I just need material. <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe buy me dinner first. Brave. <laughs> Ew! Why would I want to marry a vlogger? Isn't that where you put your whole life on the line? That sounds... Not safe at all! Woo! I mean, like, I can't do that, remember? Because I, I work with some classified agents at the CIA, so... <laughs> I mean, I'd still love to go out with you. That's okay! You know, I just, I love good content and living on the edge, you, you know? For sure. <laughs> yeah, actually, how long are these are? I did work your signature already. Oh, so we are married. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Um, yeah. That's wonderful. Do you want to order our food now? Yeah, no, um, I already picked something up for you. I figured, you know, if we're going to make this work, I might as well uh -huh. know everything. Maybe I'll start taking notes too. Uh -huh, you know what I mean? Insurance isn't working out. I'm in a bit of a sitch. That's yeah, why we're at McDonald's. We've all been there, don't worry, man. We've all been there. Yeah, CIA sounds like you're definitely broke. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> right. Dude, I'm, I'm really going through it right now. Oh, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. So what are, what are some of your hobbies? Ah, uh, some of my hobbies. Um, who are my hobbies? I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, I like playing poker, which has nothing to do with me being broke. I like drawing. Nice. On the back of my taxes. Um, <laughs> I don't know how to do them, but it's all right. I know how to do them. I can do it for you. That's great. Right. You know, maybe you could be my hobby. <laughs> <laughs> Considering what's 
gonna happen to you? Freeze. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, you 
best, and that's what and that's what matters. It's not enough. Actually, 
to the top of the town until one day she left. You poor thing. Robert doesn't want to leave without me, and I don't want to leave without Robert because I love him too. You do? We... Please let her go. You never let me finish. This village girl left because of you. Because of you, she couldn't afford anything. Because of you, she had to steal to eat. Because of you, the whole village turned against her and threw her out of town. It wasn't my fault. No matter how many times I explain this, you aren't listening to me. I don't need to listen to you to know that you complete the test for as long as your name exists. I don't hate her. So you're on her side. I didn't say that. You aren't on my side? That's it. I'm calling someone. Don't! You would get in trouble for having someone like me talking to you and Marie like this. And let's not forget you almost let him take your shift. But I didn't. And you're still talking to us. I bet if one of the other guys were down here, then I would have been locked up by now. What are you going to do about this? I could go upstairs and tell the others. You wouldn't. Oh, he would. Okay, fine. Let's say you are from the future and you do love her. What? Or did you really see what she did in France? I'm in love, goddammit! You had to be there to believe it. Children in poverty and workers poured their hearts and souls into labor, into labor for the family. We were trying our best to keep France rich. Your husband didn't want to admit how poor we got until he was executed. My husband? I never wanted to lead the families of France into debt. Exactly my point. The woman I'm in love with wouldn't provide nothing to a land she cherishes so much. I can't believe the both of you. Marie's to be executed on the 16th, and that's final. I have to do it for France. You can still do it for France! What are you talking about? Yeah, know what, and what are you talking about? I'm saying you can still do it for France, but pretend to do it. I'm going to pretend to kill Marie? Yes! Tell the whole world you killed her because she tried to sneak out or something. Yes, exactly! I'll run away with Robert and you won't ever see me again. I don't know. They won't find her body. Tell them you just incinerated it. Yes, and they'll have to believe you because she won't be anywhere to be found. Okay, let me get this straight. You want me to let her go with some of that claims are from the future and accidentally travel here and let the whole world know that she was not in, that she was not in fact killed, but not executed, but that I killed her and threw her body into the fire because she tried to run away? Yes. Yes. You're really from the future. I am, and you won't regret this. Thank you, sir. I'm so sorry about your people. Don't apologize for something that you can't fix. Let's get out of here. You first, my lady. Wait. Can I at least have something for proof that I killed you? He's right. They just gave me a new one. Thank you. Au revoir, Miss Monsieur. starting with L. Love, are you ready for Christmas? Mom, I'm sure ready for Christmas. No, I'm not. I hate this holiday. Why am I... You know, I told you I was Jewish, and yet we still celebrate this. <laughs> oh, women, if 
you are going to complain during Christmas, I will not have it. What? What? What are you talking about? You don't have to be fucking screwed just because you're Jewish. <laughs> Question. That does not need an answer because I already know it. Dad would let me celebrate Hanukkah. But you know what you did? You divorced him. And now I'm stuck here with you two. Really? You're going to bring him up on Christmas? This? I can't even say it. Such horror. Such horror on us, Owen. You... You don't get it. He was the only person in my life who I actually liked. Sure, you're my family, but he was the only person that actually respected me. You know? But whatever. I'm hurting your feelings. Can't wait to be gone in a year. Unbelievable. He was the only person that respected you? After all I've done for you, I gave you pepper spray in first grade so that if anyone at school disrespected you, you could be ready. Very much so. We both got pepper spray so that way we, we, we can protect ourselves. You got pepper spray as a child. What am I going to use pepper spray for, Mom? I'm going to pepper spray the little first graders for taking away my, my starbursts? You don't even know how to parent. My God! Well, it's not my fault. I just was doing what the self-help book told me to do. I mean, the extra shows that we clearly need the pepper spray to be a frail bone. That's why we need it to protect ourselves. <laughs> Zebras could be better parents than this. <laughs> I know. I, I'm impressed that Child Protective Services has not been called on this ridiculous family. After all I've given to you for the past 17 years, and you still can't respect me? But look what you've done, Owen. You made her cry on Christmas. Crying on Christmas. You know what I did every night as a child? Because you gave me nothing but pepper spray? I cried myself to sleep. Because I was actually crying in my eye. Don't turn this around on me, you know. Everything you've always done that, that, that Mom has done for you, you just complained about. For at least a day, can I have a moment, you know, to tell you guys what I feel? For the past 17 years of my life, I've been faking it, and I'm trying to tell you that you're a bad parent. You don't put pepper spray in someone's eyes. That's not food. It's a dangerous weapon. Go ahead. Tell me how you feel about me. After I had to work three jobs to be able to support you and buy you a new pepper spray every Saturday, you still don't appreciate me. He is being quite ungrateful, Mother. <laughs> I am ungrateful. You know, I think Dad told me something very important. You have to stick through it for a while, and then you'll be out. Well, I've been trying to stick through it, and I'm done. I'm done with all this pepper spray, eating it, drinking it, putting it on me while I shower. I'm done with it. I'm leaving. Just go then, because if you don't want the pepper spray, you won't get the pepper spray, and then when someone disrespects you, you won't know what to do. Keep the door locked so we can't get back in. Let's do...
come on, Britt. Lighten up. It's gonna be fun. It's been like years since we've all hung out. So why not do it over with your break? Yeah, whatever, I guess. We saw each other last week at school. Well, yeah, but we didn't hang out like we used to. I don't think I want to have fun. Like old times. Isn't Sal supposed to be here too? They were part of our little trio back then. Yeah, they should be here. Your room has changed so much since I was last year. <laughs> right? Not as much pink and more yellows and greens. Your bed is uncomfortable. Sorry, I was doing stuff. Oh, it's okay. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad to be here too. Let's see if there are any good movies on. I got it. This channel never has movies on. I'm so bored. Come on, get off your phone and stop complaining. Well, my boyfriend is texting me. I don't want to miss out on what he's saying. I can still see you at the same newspaper shop. <laughs> yeah. I like reading the old one. I think the newest one is on top. Suddenly his high spirits were doused when his car was stopped by a team of New Jersey State Troopers. Huh. Strange. That sounds boring. Give me that. Now. Oh my goodness, someone was murdered last night. Uh -huh. That's crazy. Who? James, look. Isn't that your last name? That's my uncle. I'm so sorry. Maybe it was a mistake at some point. Didn't you just see him? James Lover was killed last night in an alleyway outside a local grocery store. He was stabbed repeatedly with other signs of trauma. Yep, <laughs> that would be him. I'm so sorry, Sky. It'll pass. Fine, I guess. I don't mean to be uh, rude, but I'm gonna hang out with my boyfriend after this, so can we hurry it up? I can't believe this is even happening. I just saw him the other day. Hello? Do you even care? No, it's beyond wild. Also, Brittany, no one cares about your boyfriend! I do! I can't wait to see him. He's been texting me Can this. you please just be quiet? Oh, you two now? Sorry. What do you mean? Well, you see about the pushover now, so I was just surprised. You're being so centered about your stupid boyfriend. My uncle just died due to someone cruel. It's sickening! And all you care about is your boyfriend, who doesn't even care. And I'm sick. The killer is described as the following. Short brown hair, shorter, wears black and a beanie, and big shoes. Your face not yet identified. Not ever. Thank you. Can you talk all you want after? Scarlett, what's up? You're giving me a big look. Nothing. Thinking. About what? Nothing. Nothing? I said it's nothing! Are you accusing me of doing this? No, what? It's a network! I can't believe you! You so are! Fight! 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 Fight me! Please shut up! And oh. get down! You guys are so boring! I'm getting a glass of water. I think I might go to the bathroom too. All of this is making me sick. Suddenly, beyond suspicion. They're out for him. And that watch. Oh my goodness. The watch. You have to see it to believe it, but it was right there on their wrist. My uncle's watch. Now, that right there is beyond suspicion. They have to be planning something. They can't just be doing nothing. Yeah. 
<laughs> what happened? Are you hurt? Well, I was getting a glass of water. And that's when Sal hit me over the head with the... Oh, hey, Sal. Oh, what? Oh, I don't know. 
would make you Mrs. Dwinkle. Aww. Okay, so the, the catch is, is uh, so uh, the rest of you can take a moment to look read over the scene. Well, uh, Mrs. Winkle over here, uh, <laughs> unfortunately, doesn't have a script. Uh, and actually, in the script, Mrs. Winkle doesn't even have any lines. It just says Mrs. Winkle and uh, insert line here. Yep. So we're gonna give. I'm gonna give my the improviser just a moment to get familiar with the scene. Um, the scene takes place uh, in a high school classroom. Mrs. Winkle is the teacher, and these are the students. So you guys want to set some? Yeah, there we go. You can set the stage a little bit.
Yes, that makes sense. Are they single? Sense. You know, I feel better now. together with nothing to do or talk about, so we should get to know each other, you, you know? I just, I just like the subject. Oh, come on, just tell me. Unless you did something bad, uh, do you need to pay off debt? Bribe someone? Stop helping me? What did you do? Are you done talking? Just tell me. Look, you pestering me is not going to get me to tell you. If you pester me, I'm not going to tell you anyway. So just drop it. Jeez. It's funny. 
You really did that? Guess you had to see it to believe it. And Pat made them not like you? Well, all I know is I stopped having friends after that. That really sucks. I'm sorry. Well, I held up my end of the bargain. Uh, what about you? Oh, yeah. That. Yeah, that. Oh, it's my dad. He, he's sick. He needs me. I'm all he has. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to. No, no. I need to tell someone. If you couldn't tell, I don't get along with people either. Really? I needed the money for his treatment, or I uh, needed it in the next couple months or he wouldn't make it. I didn't think it would be this hard. I mean, I knew it was going to happen. I just didn't know it would be this difficult. Yeah, I didn't either. I, yeah, I mean, I doubt anyone who did would do this to themselves, you know? that and give no context. If you couldn't see, I can't see you. Dude, the clock. What clock? It's in the top left hand corner. I can't see it. I think it's days, hours, minutes, seconds. Are you serious? Better than 19, or not knowing at all. This is crazy. I have got to get out of here. Don't we all? I mean, at least we know. This is crazy. I have got to get out of here. I'm going to lose my mind in here. Please, just you can keep the money. Just let me go. It's not going to work. I tried that before. This is insane. I can't do this anymore. Please, just let me leave. You're just stressing yourself out. I'm not stressing myself out. I'm going crazy in here. I can't do it anymore. Are you okay over there? I I can't breathe. Lie on the floor. What? Just do it. Lie on the floor. Okay. Put your arms up. How does the floor feel? It feels cold. I feel cold. Stiff. I mean, it's the floor. What do you want me to tell you? And your snarky self is back. 
There you go. Thanks. Prepare yourself. We don't know what we're preparing for. Oh my god. 